Good morning, everyone. So the uh, sideways chop continues here in the S&Ps while the Dow makes new all-time highs. History. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess, you know, the media likes to promote that. And uh, when they usually put on their party hats, I think I saw a party hat yesterday. Usually means pullback is coming. Um, in any event, there are other... Uh, you know, points of what's happening in the market to suggest there are issues here. Some I've already spoken about already. But just looking at the charts here and the S&P futures, everything looks just fine. Um, which, you know, just based on what we're seeing is maybe there's a last gasp to get through here um, and really suck in some of the Johnny-come-latelys at the end. We'll see. Uh, but right now, over the last two weeks, it's just been, you know, chop, buyer step up down here at this little support. Uh, they bought again yesterday on a smaller dip, you know, and so far today, we've just got an, an inside uh, bar going on here. S&Ps are down a quarter. They're just sitting there doing nothing. Um, so, I guess whatever they're waiting for, uh, some other earnings report, you know, the Tesla has, wasn't going to do it for it. Uh, we'll take a look at that, but, you know, not much going on here. The NASDAQ is just sitting here with, you know, Apple came out and uh, blasted up to new all-time highs. And the broader market, and NASDAQ 100, just yawned. Nothing happened there. So, you know, we hit that extended move, you know, based on what I've spoken about. And, um, you know, the market is correcting, and so far, it's, it's been a choppy sideways correction, which is bullish, um, rather, than, rather than pulling back. We'll see how long it can do that for, um, you know, as we're coming into the end of the week here. Um, you know, we are at the beginning of a new month that typically, you know, the, the new inflows of money goes to work. You, so after, you know... That happens, and it's not pushing the market higher. Uh, we get into sometime next week. We'll actually see if uh, you know the markets can push up, or whether you know they're going to come back down here a little bit. So let's look at the you know the part the party girl here or guy, however you want to look at it here, being uh, the Dow and these are the Dow futures. And what do we see happening here is that you know the Dow had lagged in the past, and you know it was this chop, you know drop down and a miracle rally back up again and then chop and sideways choppy consolidation and you know right here was the most bullish type of price action meaning um, you know it went sideways after getting through this resistance area and and it had this downward sloping angle you know here uh, you know as it hit this little minor support and bounced back up and then as it, as it broke out, now prices have accelerated higher, uh, creating, you know, this thing that I call a void underneath here, which means that, you know, as it begins to pull back, there's little to nothing to stop it um, from pulling back. And even if it pulls back because it's in an uptrend in multiple time frames, we look at it as that pullback being viable, but... It all depends on how far it retraces. So if it should come, let's clean this up. If it should come all the way back down to here, obviously something's wrong. And because of the depth of the retracement, and this has nothing to do with Fibonacci's, you know, it's not, that's more of a, the holy grail, hocus pocus type of uh, analyses that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it sells, you know, hopes of, uh, figuring out the secret numbers in the market and all, all that. But uh, anyway, you think about the depth of retracement, pure and simple, if prices were to retrace all of this, it's not good because this was a strong move up and coming all the way back down versus a, a shallow pullback or sideways and higher, which is what it's supposed to do after strength and an uptrend. And in addition, if it pulled back that far, it would be breaking through some support and the weekly chart would then start to be in question, its trend, right? So a lot of simple analysis versus all of the hocus pocus lines and waves and so on and so forth. Get all of those stuff off your chart and just look at the price action and, you know, the uh, 
the light bulbs start to go on. So now as we have this accelerated move, right, where it's getting far from the 20 MA and uh, far from support, and you don't want to jump in there if you're a day trader and say, well, you know, it's extended here, so let me get short. No, you don't do that. You wait for a break. So we drop down to a smaller time frame here. I'm looking at the 30, and we have a sideways consolidation here on the intraday chart, which is bullish. This is a bad tick. Um, and you wait for the break lower. And then you look to take a position either on the break lower, depending on how it's happens, or on some type of retracement back up to what we call minor resistance, which would be up here. Okay? So we'll see how that plays out or whether we want to have another up day into the end of the week. All right, we have, um, oh, let's look at some of what else is going on here to be concerned about. Right? The transports, you know, you had a lot of talk about Dow theory and everything's okay in the market. And well, it sure looked like it was until now it doesn't, where the transports had moved up and made a new all time high. The Dow was a new all time high, and now the transports fall apart. You know, oil found some, some buyers and oil popped back up, <clears throat> whereas the weekly chart still hasn't broken out of uh, this range that it's in. Uh, but the transports fell all the way back down to the 200 MA here. And uh, well, the last time it was here, it had a big rally. But, you know, this is a completely different pattern, and this doesn't suggest having another big rally from here. Now, is it a little oversold or extended or a little much of a big drop too much too fast? Yeah, I'll, ag I'll agree with that. And based on that, next step would be what in the transports looks good. And I, EXPD has been showing some relative strength. Not the right one. Uh, yeah, EXPD. Um, you know, had this big down day here. I think that's last Thursday. Um, and there's been little to no follow through. It's in an uptrend daily, weekly. And um, you now it's consolidating up here. So it, it, this is one that's showing relative strength to uh, the transports. I don't know what sector it's let me just see here. Industrial integrated shipping. Okay. So this this is looking pretty good. And uh, I like the consolidation on the weekly uh, after the wide range bar breaking to a new all-time high. Um, so this is one you might want to keep an eye on to see if it can get some legs and get going here. Uh, however, the airlines, you now which have getting beaten up, you know, if you uh, play oversold bounces, you know, Delta Airlines is down at the 200, which is in alignment with this, what I would call some loose support. And uh, so now as this is basing down here, the question is, can it get through here? And, you know, it's popped up over here. So that that's an idea where maybe, you know, if the transports find some legs, maybe this could, could bounce back up here a bit and... UAL, also beaten down. And this is an interesting pattern. So we'll see if this one plays out. And what's interesting about this is this bottoming tail here with the volume created a, a pivot low, right? Higher low bars to the left and the right. So now as prices came down yesterday, it begins to retest this newly created support. And that support wasn't there before. So it's new created support. And now as it, it popped below the prior two days lows, the question is, can it get back up above yesterday's high? And if it can do that, I think you're going to get a pop up with some short covering here and we'll see where it can go. So there's an idea with UAL, if it can get above today's high and, uh, Let's take a look at uh, American Airlines. Showing some relative strength, but uh, doesn't look as enticing, you know. So, not there. JBLU, JetBlue, uh, could bounce 
had an okay day yesterday, a green day anyway. But So keep an eye on the airlines to see if uh, they can get something going there. And financials looking good. Uh, they're down here this morning for whatever reason. Uh, but City is down a little bit there, as you can see on the intraday chart. You know, but overall the weekly the weekly charts look good. Um, I like these intermediate term that they're going to be able to go higher. Okay, all right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, have a great trading day. I've got uh, some things to take care of tomorrow, so there won't be a video. But anyway, so have a terrific weekend and great trading. And, um, you know, visit us at mastertrader.com. And uh, we'll talk soon.